Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will see how we can run and analyze the results of end-to-end -end tests. On a Kubernetes master node, provided you have Golang installed, run the go get kubetest command to install kubetest locally. Once installed, download the binaries required for the test using the kubetest extract command with the relevant version of Kubernetes you're running. This creates a Kubernetes folder containing the required binaries in the current directory. CD into this directory and kick off the test using the command kubetest test and specify the provider as skeleton and redirect output of the test to a text file. The provider option is used to specify where your cluster is hosted on a local cluster or a cloud environment like GCP. In our case, we use the keyword skeleton to specify a local cluster. However, if skeleton provider is used, you must feed the API server details through environment variables like kube master IP and kube master. With those set, kick the tests off. The process starts and performs various tests on the cluster. This command runs the entire end-to-end -end test suite that consists of about a thousand different tests and takes about 12 hours. You can run a subset of these tests by passing in an additional argument like this to focus on conformance section alone or some specific feature set within the cluster. This runs about 164 tests and takes about one and a half hours. Viewing the results, you will see that it initially performs simple tests like comparing the kube control server and client versions, then goes on to checking the status of pods. At the end of the test, you will see the summary of the test, the total number of tests run, which in this case is 166 out of 1008, of which 164 passed and two failed. The failed tests are related to DNS. In this case, DNS did not provide a DNS for services or for the cluster. And so the test suit failed. We will now see this in action.